Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I have some BB Craft project share for you guys today. I will be showing you how to package things that you buy from BB Craft for your Happy Mail or just to simply share things with your crafty friends. That is what I had in mind exactly when I was ordering this beautiful pink bag here. This is a zipper bag that has matte finish and I absolutely love the size. It is more like a four by six size and I really love the window that you see at the bottom part here and it shows what you got inside. Also, it has a pinky area where you can add your touches to and it's such a wonderful gift idea as well. So I'm going to show you how I packaged this one up. It is just really simple. All you need to do is put like maybe 10, even 20, however many you want to put in. It could be five, it could be three, depending on what you're aiming for. So you just need to put this into a clear bag, seal it. Then to decorate the gift, I have made this embellishment that says thank you for being a friend. And I just simply put that on top of the clear bag. And look how beautiful it looks. Very simple way to gift to your future Happy Mail friend. Then I have received these lovely wooden frames from BB Craft, right? Which I made shakers and all sorts with. I just simply used the pink organza bag to put, maybe, I think I put about maybe 10 in here. I can't remember. But then I finished it off with one of my decorated envelope embellishment. All I did was add some foam tape that's really sticky onto the organza bag and look you guys, it's a completed wonderful gift. See, I absolutely love it. Then I did another one with the different shaker mini envelope. You see all of this beautiful color and you get to see the wooden frame as well. Such a pretty way to gift. Then I have this box here. Now this clear container is also from BB Craft. Because I do many BB Craft collaboration videos with them, I often get to choose what I want to use for my crafting. And oftentimes I choose an item that's also inside a clear container like this. And I get to reuse it by decorating the outside. So I have put my embroidery hoop embellishments that I have shared in my project share number one video in here and simply all I did was put a pattern paper at the bottom and I put the pattern paper inside without doing the double-sided tape so that future recipient can actually use that pattern paper for future packaging or simple little die cutting. And this is a lovely cluster I have put on top of the container. This is these little moments. And I love all of the wonderful, peaceful colors on here. And you get to see the embroidery hoop embellishments that I've made. The next one is this one here. I have this beautiful organza bag with the spotty dotty on it. But inside is what I really want to show you. So this clear container also is from BB Craft that contained different enamel charms and things. And I got to reuse it by just simply putting on this sticker piece that says all good things. And I simply decorated it with the stars. So the black, white and pink I thought was a perfect color combo to decorate. And you get to see beautiful BB Craft items in there. So you just have to open it up and this time from BB Craft, I did grab this beautiful enamel charm with the bee and the rose and the gold accent is just so pretty. In my previous BB Craft, I have gathered this one here. This is actually more heavier charm than this because this is a real pearl shell. And I've put in here these lovely 3D strawberry charms. I absolutely love these so much. I'm gifting this to a friend. And I've also included some BB Craft 
flat back resin pieces of tulips and flowers in here. I have also included in here from my previous BB Craft projects, I've made these flower charms using the glass leaf I got from them and the acrylic flower. So I have put them in here as well. So pretty. So you guys, if you're doing happy mail swaps or you just simply love buying crafty items and you want to share, there is many ways to package BB Craft items. The next one I'm going to show you is how I packaged up the frames. I have acquired the resin frames. These are so elegant, so, so pretty. And it's got pearlescent finishing touch, the gold and the silver. And I have simply added some foam tape to one side of it because this foam tape is quite strong and it holds it really nicely. I put them side by side and in a way they kind of look like elegant sunglasses, I thought. And I just simply put that on a beautiful acetate so the frame becomes the star, not the packaging. Then I finished it off with this heart embellishment I have made using Poppy and Pear. I just love it so much. Then I have also got this item here. This is a three ring um, binder clip that's all joined. And this one here, it was a little bit, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. This one is a little bit difficult for my hand to open. If you guys have strong fingers, you just have to put, push the one side upwards and this other side downwards to open it up. That's how my husband opened it. But I just can't do that with my RA hand, rheumatoid arthritis. So I used pliers to open it and to close it. And then this is a little mini Bia Valen Poppy and Pear collection book that I have made. It's not completed because I am probably going to add some stitching and things. And I think this is going to be my memory of the Poppy and Pear collection that I used for crafting many things. And this lifts up so I can add some more things underneath. I just really love the little, little things that I got to add in there from the collection. And it'll be like my memory of how much fun time I had using this collection. Isn't that beautiful? I love this tea shop so much. If there was a real tea shop like this, I would love to visit it. So pretty, right? And with this ring, you guys can make so many different shaped mini albums. You can just, you know, put lots of different sheet, sticker sheets and combine it as well. So you can make your own mini sticker book. You can even dangle things onto this gold bar here. So many options. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. I hope you gained some ideas of happy mail packaging. And I look forward to seeing you guys here on my channel soon. Make sure you go visit the BB Craft and have fun shopping there if you're looking for new items. And make sure to use my discount code. Bye for now.